Hey guys, how's it going? We are going to be making a tandoori turbot with raita. And I'll be honest, Indian food has a sweet spot in my heart because it always just be hidden different if y'all know what I mean. But back to the cooking. So we are going to be unwrapping our baby turbot. Uh, we are going to be snipping the fins off because we don't want that while we're marinating the fish. And I'll be honest guys, I don't really fillet fish too often just because I'm honestly not too great at it. However, if you guys have not had turbot before, it is one of my favorite fishes. It almost tastes like a sea bass, which is also amazing. Very flaky, white fish, and it's great for searing or poaching or whatever the case is really. It's just an amazing fish. I mean, look at that meat. Obviously, turbots, as they grow older, do have bigger bodies, except this one is a more young turbot. And that is okay, because we are still going to cut it and fillet it into four portions and use it for our dish. And I'll be honest, I know that filleting a fish might be intimidating to some people, but I really think that learning it, whether it's through YouTube or whatever the case is, is a great skill set to have, because then you can save the bones and make a wonderful fish stew or fish soup. Sheesh, this meat be looking fine. And of course, I just needed to flex a little bit. I mean, look at that spine. There is just no meat left. And some B-roll for the boo-boos. And then go ahead and just throw all of your bones into a pot and you can boil it in some water and there's your fish stock. Now for the marinade, we are just gonna go ahead and cut up some ginger. We're going to skin it with a spoon because a spoon is your best friend when it comes to healing a ginger. We're going to get a microplane and we're going to microplane some ginger about maybe one to two cloves. All out of sorts. And since this is a Indian influenced dish, we'll be using many seasonings that are from the Indian culture, such as gram masala, turmeric, a little bit of paprika, and garlic. We'll also be using some tomato paste so that we can get a very nice consistency around the marinade. I do love my Italians, and you gotta pay your respects, so use Italian San Marzano tomatoes. They are the sweetest and they are the tastiest. Go ahead and also cut half a lemon and we are going to squeeze it into the marinade. For the second part of the marinade, we are going to be toasting up some aromatics just to make the fish taste even better than it already is. These aromatics are some cumin seeds whole as well as some coriander seeds whole. Once you are done toasting up those aromatics, we are just going to go ahead and throw it into a mortar pestle so that we can grind it up and throw it into the marinade. Go. Yeah, there go. Now once we have all of the seasonings and marinade combined, we are going to go ahead and add in our whole milk yogurt. Now you can go ahead and add some sugar at this point and taste it as well just to make sure that all the flavors are well balanced. Obviously the golden rule season to taste in cooking and we are going to just simply add salt and pepper and taste as we go. I wish you guys could try the marinade because it is absolutely divine. Now, whole milk yogurt is one of the best things I think 
in the world when it comes to meats because not only does it tenderize whatever meat you are applying to chicken beef salmon fish but it also um, combines all the ingredients and sticks to the meat so that when you are marinating it it penetrates into every crevice but also when you're cooking it it also cooks very very evenly now make sure you use the two finger method to scrape out all the marinade and add it into the fish kids can close their eyes at this point because the next part might not be safe for work now use the stick and pull method to get rid of all of the marinade that's stuck onto your mixing device or however you may choose to use this device then massage the fish with the marinade and set it aside for at least 10 to 15 minutes. Right. Now kids, don't open your eyes just yet because we are going to be pulling out one of the most massive, girthiest Persian cucumbers. We'll be cutting off the tips and we are going to be shredding it into nice long slices for our raita. And somehow this cucumber, as girthy and thick of a monstrosity it is, is also as mesmerizing sliced up like this. Go ahead and toss it into a bowl after you slice it up with your mandolin and then season it with salt and pepper. We are also going to be adding some whole milk yogurt and some lemon juice. And this is my beautiful pot of mint. And we are going to be taking a couple leaves and chopping it up nice and finely so that we can add it to our raita, or AKA cucumbers. mixing it up so that the yogurt, the mint, the salt and pepper, and the lemon juice will all be nicely combined with the cucumbers. After it's nicely well and combined, we are going to be adding some avocado oil onto a cast iron at medium high heat, and we are going to be searing the fish off. And as beautiful as this marinated turbot is sizzling on my girlfriend in cast iron, it is not as beautiful as you are today. So make sure you guys smash the like button and subscribe. While the fish is doing its thing, make sure to not check it too often, but definitely checking it once in a while to make sure you don't burn the bottom of the fish. I genuinely wish you guys could smell how amazing this fish is right now. Now once you are done searing the fish on both sides, we are going to go ahead and plate our raita on top of a plate. Now once we have the raita on the bottom, we are going to go ahead and place the turbot on top. And there we go. That is a Indian influenced tandoori turbot with raita. Make sure you guys microplane a little bit of lemon zest for decoration. I hope you guys enjoy and thanks for watching.